tonight, eye-opening new numbers reveal the tragic toll the opioid epidemic continues to take right here in southern New England. And according to the Massachusetts Department of Health, more than 2,000 people died of opioid-related overdoses last year. And as you can see from the staggering numbers on your screen right here, the deadly epidemic has touched nearly every community in southeastern Massachusetts. And the report identifies Fall River as one of the hardest-hit cities in the state. Eyewitness News reporter Abby Burke joins us now with the details that are new at 530. It's an addiction that no one is immune to. It's hitting all age levels. I, uh, all economic levels and it's not abating. Nancy Paul says they have a drug crisis in Fall River and things aren't getting any better. We know that um, heroin is now being laced with fentanyl and fentanyl is uh, much more dangerous in terms of overdose potential. According to the Fall River Police Department, in 2016, 934 people in the area overdosed on drugs, almost 300 more than the year before. Right now, it's cheaper to get fentanyl than it is to buy a glass of beer. Paul believes the problem often begins with prescription drug abuse. We're taught not to experience pain. That's not a good thing. I mean, we don't need to take a drug for every little ache and pain we have. She thinks pediatricians should start screening for drug abuse as early as 10 or 12. The earlier we can find it, the better we can treat it. There is no cure for this. It changes the brain as far as we know permanently. STAR is trying to do its part by opening its doors seven days a week now with extended hours and no appointments. We have people that will assess uh, the need for care, what level, whether they need inpatient or outpatient. Since they've taken this new approach back in January, they've had more than 1,500 people come through their doors and are seeing about 500 people per month. Now, before this change, they served less than 500 people over six months. I'm Abby Burke, Eyewitness News.